welcome everyone. My name is Simply Cindy. I'm, or my name is Cindy. I'm at Simply Cindy. Sorry about that. I'm doing this all alone, so I'm trying to figure out, make sure that I'm live, make sure that everything's going well. So, uh, I am doing horoscopes for the next 30 days. We are about six days in. Uh, I'm not doing them consecutively. So yesterday we have, so what I'm doing is how we have, I'm doing a little bit of astrology, a little bit of tarot. I noticed that I hadn't done any tarot for this big transition that's coming up. We're having the um, lunar eclipse coming in. And so I went ahead and made up a spread. Um, so I made a spread for, I'm sorry, I'm pulling this out so I can see, make sure that I'm online because I wasn't a minute ago. Uh, so I'm doing the spread for each sign uh, about the lunar eclipse. And the lunar eclipse is about us letting go. It's about us not taking in what uh, to the next space, to the new space, to the new vibration, to the new portal. Um, let me pull this out so you can see this. This is the what you guys would call the portal, the new energy, the doorway. This is where we're moving to. This is the south node where we're moving away from. This is where the lunar eclipse is going to happen. Um, welcome, welcome. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Cindy. I'm at Simply Cindy. I uh, am a medium. I have a lot of modalities that I have practiced. Uh, mediumship, I was born that way, but uh, I have a science background, medical background, so... Um, I have a lot of modalities that uh, I can do. Anyway, um, so I wanted to let everybody know today is the 20th. We are in Aries season. See, the sun has moved into Aries. So we are in Aries season. Aries has uh, three planets. And remember, we talked about when you can tell when the universe or the stars, or your higher self, or the bigger beings, whatever you want to call that. I uh, want you to pay attention to an area of life because there'll be a concentrated, what we call a stellium. There'll be uh, planets, more than one or two in an area, right? And so because we're leaving this, this is the opposite. There is a, there's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of energy here. and. Pluto is a big energy, so there's a lot of energy here. And there's a lot of energy here. This is all, like, if you are a Sag, this is all inner work, okay? If you're a Capricorn, inner work. You're going to see this more inner. I'm not saying that you won't see any outer stuff, just more inner. And so if you look at where your ascending is, if you're finding that the planets are down here, this is a lot to do with you, your inner work, um, your inner changing, your inner dialogue, your inner um, relationships, right? Um, and then if you find yourself where your ascending has the planets up here, it, you're going to see that more externally. So that's just to kind of give you a clue. Like if you see here, Sag is... Um, you see all the planets are down here. So this is a lot of inner work that, that Sag is having to do. This is a lot of um, inner relationships, inner understanding, inner movement, changing kind of thing. It, that kind of gives you a clue. That's a little bit more advanced, but um, that's kind of giving you a clue. If it's on the outer side, you're going to see that the things could come shockingly to you to make you change, to make that move if that makes any sense. So that's just a little tidbit. Anyway, um, so congratulations. We are in Aries season. Aries should give you an oomph, a good feeling. Um, I guess maybe if you're really, really, really grounded and don't like to move, it, make you, it may make you feel a little uncomfortable. But for the most part, um, it... Aries gives you a lot of energy, and because we're moving into this new direction, we have we still have. Remember, pay. Remember what I told you the other day. Pay attention to what Mercury is saying over here. We have Chiron, the key to get through this door, this portal, this new energy. There is a wound here with society, and within ourselves, um, that we, you're not going to heal this wound. You have to learn to work with this wound. And I gave you an example of what the wound is like, what the wound is. It's like this scarcity, this 
uh, being afraid that they want us to have to be uh, this fear that they want us to to be that's like a wound that we have you're you're like fearful of being human you're fearful of living that's ridiculous like if you think about it on the outside and you say that to yourself they want you in fear of living which means you have to eat and you have to sleep somewhere and you have to like that's ridiculous that's ridiculous right but it's a wound that we have on society we're not going to uh it's not going to go away but you learn to work with it right which is what I said. Don't be afraid. They want you afraid, right? That's just kind of a, I'm not going to go too far deep into that, but I just kind of wanted to remind you we're working with this key. This is the key to get us through this door to this new vibration. What's coming up is this letting go. We have to let go of what no longer, I mean, I say it that way because I've said it that way for a long time, but now everybody says it that way and you probably don't hear it in the same way. You're letting go will no longer serve you, which means that's why I used a different thing. We're moving into a new house, right? We're using that scenario. You, there are things you don't need to take. There are, you have a new dishwasher. You can't take the old one. You have a new washer and dryer. You can't take the old one. You appreciate the old one. You really like the old one. You're going to be sad to see it go. You have an attachment to the old stuff. But you have to let it go. It's time to move forward. It's time to move into this energy. The old washer and dryer does not look good. It will not go well with the in the new space, in the new house. Um, you know, with the new house having the elect well, I'll use it this way. The electricity runs really, really, really well in the new house, where in the old house it didn't, and it's too much energy for the the washer and dryer, the old washer and dryer. So you're going to the new washer and dryer does that make sense like you there's stuff that you have to let go of but you have an attachment to it feels really comfortable some of us don't realize we have attachments to these things but we do but it's time to relieve that it's time to let that go so um and then you know i know that for probably for the past couple of days we've been a little bit feeling a little bit confused feeling a little bit like off and that's because neptune the sun was next to neptune they were talking um, and so it was really lighting up, still is, was lighting up maybe things that you hadn't seen, maybe things that you thought you saw one way and you were seeing another and you, you were coming to that realization. Um, and as the days go by, we have Saturn and Venus. Remember, are you taking responsibility for how you are loved, for how you are creating, for how you are uh are you appreciating yourself are you understanding your worthiness you know we have uh, mars coming in to to help venus but saturn wants to talk to venus first before he talks to both of them saturn is saying are you being responsible are you taking responsibility and i used the the scenario yesterday of you know are you um I think it was yesterday are you with the education and the stuff and the we have i mean i'm gen x so back in the day we had to like go look for information we had to go to the library or find a book and hopefully that book was at your bookstore, you know, and how you found out was through word of mouth or maybe on television or, I mean, the access to information was way different. You have access at your fingertips now, right? You have access to ancient knowledge at your fingertips. You have access to, you know, I told you, the documents that the CIA releases. You have acumen, uh, you have, you have access to that. And, you know, I mean, all of that, it's right in your face. They're telling you what you can do, but you, you know, but they're like, let's make them afraid. Let's make them in fear. Let's make them uh, feel like they're unworthy to even live on this earth. And, you know, they're using too many resources. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But that's Saturn. Saturn is like, are you paying attention? Are you, now that you have the knowledge, now that you went and looked it up, now that you, you know, Gen Z and all that, call it going down the rabbit hole. Now that you've gone down the rabbit hole, what are you going to do about it? Are you just going to sit there and still be afraid? Or are you going to do something about it? That's sadder. Are you going to love yourself? Are you going to love humanity? Are you going to do your part? Or not? That's kind of, that's what Saturn's saying. When you do that, when you take responsibility, when you, 
yeah, take responsibility. When you mature, I will give you the reward. So he's talking to, to Venus right now about that, right? Mars is going to come in a little later and help out. And he's got he's got to talk to Mars too, right? We still have Pluto. Pluto is a big transition. But for today, we have the, the sun going into Aries, okay? So I just wanted to kind of go over that. Um, again, the big thing that I wanted to talk about today is I'm going to go do four more signs or five more signs it kind of depends uh i'm channeling so i want to give you the best if all of a sudden i feel like well it's only going to be three then i'll only do three but yesterday i was able to do four um but that's what i'm going to do we're going to i'm going to start that in just a minute a couple of them between signs anyway but i'll do one more shuffle while we're here um i've done this is my spread that i made up um this is to help you during your transition uh, of this lunar eclipse, and so this transition, these things that you're gonna you're gonna be letting go. Remember, I said yesterday, it's like it's like you're packing right now to go into the new house, right? You're gonna go into the new space, so you're kind of packing. You're trying to decide what am I leaving, what am I keeping, and you know when you're moving to a new space, sometimes you take stuff that you don't really need but you don't realize that you don't you're not ready to let that go yet and so you're like well let me pack it and see how it looks in the new space right so that's kind of what we're doing that's what this lunar eclipse will be it's not anything that you actually have to consciously do it's an eclipse so it's going to do it for you um and i don't feel like this is going to be such a because there are eclipses where change is just going to happen and you're going to be like oh god what the hell that's not what i feel like this eclipse is i feel like this eclipse this eclipse is much gentler i'm not talking about the solar i'm talking about the lunar i feel like i i honestly feel like the things that you're going to let go of the things that are going to be eclipsed um is like it makes you feel better oh thank you kathy kathy says hi cindy i loved yesterday's video thank you kathy but I feel like this eclipse is almost like until it happens, you don't realize how much it's holding you back or dragging you down, right? And so that's kind of how I feel like. But this is going to be going over the next four to six months. So um, this is only one part. Like the the stars are always, I told you, the stars and the planets are always talking to us. The universe is always talking to us. So this is just one part, all right? So here we go. We're going to do... Um, I think I can do four or five today. We'll see. Cause I've got, cause I've got, um, Aries energy. <laughs> I love Aries. I told you guys I love Aries. They give me lots of energy. Aries and Leo and Sad give me lots of energy. Um, so that I can read them so that I'm getting the message that, that needs to come through. If we can get this done um in the next i guess today tomorrow yeah and I, I, i'm talking to myself but if we can get this done um let me do some mediumship i can feel mediumship coming i can feel some people wanting to come through um because i've been a medium all my life i know that's how that sounds you guys probably don't understand what i'm saying but because I've been a medium all of my life, I had to finally put boundaries because when I was little, I was so open and I would see, um, I would see spirits, but some of them are so strong that I would think that they weren't spirits, that they were real, right? I mean, not real, but they were, they're all real. Um, like I would see them like you and me and I couldn't differentiate uh, when I was younger. Um, I thought, but again, I thought all of us had this. Anyway, over the years and having uh, studied and having developed more, honestly, I didn't develop more. I just learned to work with what I have already. So because it's really advanced, my development is really advanced. I just had to learn how to control it. So that's what I did. Um, so what I've done since is, and I had to do this, I think I did it around my teenager in my 20s, but it's just been more developed, is I, there's a, there is my 
beings that I work with or my guides or whatever you want to call that other energies um, nothing comes through unless it's vetted through them and so I had to put like boundaries around my energy um, so now that I'm older and now that I have these boundaries um, and now that they're in place I have to like consciously open myself up um, it's not like I can't hear or don't hear or like my I already know if I get messages that come through um, it's because my guides or the the beings that I work with have allowed it to happen because it's important right but I don't want to be awakened in the middle of the night. I don't want to be awake. I don't want to like look in my shower and there's somebody there. I don't want to like, or come out of the shower and there's somebody there. I don't want to walk down the street, turn the corner and there's, you know, a, a spirit there. I don't want to be in the store and have all these people talking to me. I mean, I've put boundaries in and because I've put the boundaries in, I have to like consciously uh, begin to lift some of those boundaries and allow some stuff to come through. Does that make sense to you guys? And that's why that's why I'm saying I can feel mediumship coming on because I've sort of opened myself up in the last like couple of weeks because I knew mediumship was coming. Um, I always know mediumship was coming. Um, And by that, I mean, like, I can always do mediumship, but coming in a way where there are some people that really need to, that really have a message for people that I am going to allow to happen on this channel. Does that make sense to you guys? So, um, I have to, like, because I have such a strong subconscious hold on my boundaries, I have to, like, undo them a little. <laughs> So that's why I keep telling you guys, okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, because I've one, I've been trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do this? And am I going to do this? Because I will get awakened in the middle of the night. I will look up from eating and there'll be somebody there. I will come out of the shower and there's somebody there. And it's because I've allowed it. It's because I said, yes, you can come through. I want to give the message, blah, 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 blah. Right? So... I'm just preparing for all that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys wanted to hear that part, but I'm just preparing for all of that. But that's what I mean when I say it's coming. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. All right. So next is Taurus. I hope that helps. This Queen of Wands, she wants to show herself today. Like, I don't, I have put her everywhere. I've mixed her up and she keeps showing up. There's something about her. Maybe it's because it's airy season. She's like, I am here. Okay. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. I am here. And y'all have to deal with me. Y'all have to get in the flow. It's time to stop being whiny butts and get in the flow. That's what she's saying. <laughs> You're welcome, Ethan. <laughs> um, I love it. That's why I love Aries. Because they're like, oh, you're going to do it. Whatever. <laughs> And me as the Gemini is like, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> Not hurting anybody. We can do it. <laughs> okay, Taurus. Is that why I'm telling everybody to grow up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> weird <laughs> Aries is like uh -uh. y'all have been doom and gloom that's enough of that I want to have some fun you know how Aries is they want to have fun <laughs> okay let's see I am really shuffling these cards so if she comes out again, I don't know what to tell y'all. She has come out in the same position. I don't know if it's two or three times that she came out in the same position. She wants to be seen. She's like, pay attention. I'm trying to tell y'all something. <laughs> okay. Okay. What 
All right. Taurus is next. Let's see, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? My Taurians. Okay. In this lunar eclipse, in relationships and partnerships, where does Taurus stand? Hmm. You got the Ten of Wands. All right, Taurus. I think you have this understanding and this feeling that there is a couple, there, there are a couple of things. I feel like two main things that you need to do that's going to like really push you. But you kind of know that you need to do these things. And it's really hard because these are the hardest things that you've ever had to do. I don't know what this is. Like, I feel like some of you, it's family. I feel like some of you, it's work. Hmm. Less work, more family. And I feel relationships. I feel like your boundaries have been taken advantage of. And I feel like you know this. And I feel like it's such a big hurdle that you're going to have to overcome to be able to get this straight. It's almost like you don't even know if you can do this. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm feeling like it's like one or two issues, things. I just feel like I'm having to push too hard. But I got to do it. Like, I, this is the way I feel. I got to do it. I have to do this. Like, I can no longer, this has to do with me not having anything. This has to do with me going without. This has to do with me being uncomfortable. And that's where I put the limit. And this is where you're at, is at your limit. Where you have to push through and change something that's not easy. That's where you are. That's where your stance is. I know some of you are like, I hope this eclipse just does it for me. <laughs> that's what I feel like. Um, okay. So what is ready to come out and be seen in the shadow? I feel like before I even turn this card, I feel like your answer is going to come through. I feel like you're going to get help from the universe, basically from your higher self, basically from, for those of you that see it as God, you're going to get help from God. You're going to get help from the angels. You're going to get help from whatever belief system you have. You're going to get help from outside of you. But we all kind of know it's not from outside of us. Does that makes sense. But I'm gonna say it that way because Taurus, that's that may be how you believe. You're going to see. This is even before I like oh turn over this card. I feel like the shadow that's going to be highlighted and brought to you is like the answer. Okay. You have the hanging man. So I feel like you don't do anything yet. Like you're you're trying to figure out a way. But I feel like the shadow that's going to come out is that you don't. The, oh, so how do I say this? For some of you, it's one thing, one major thing. For some of you, it's two major things. And a lot of you, it's two major things. And I feel like the only answer you have in your mind right now is not going to be a good answer and like you feel like it's not a good answer and is there another way but you can't think of another way right now right and so um i feel like what's going to be highlighted is you not doing this is what i'm getting by this hangman the answer is going to come out for you to help you but i feel like you're gonna have some guilt because maybe you took you so long to get to this place that's what i feel like it's going to be highlighted is like the fact that you're you didn't move fast enough the fact that you didn't do what you you saw to do five years ago three years ago one year ago the fact that you didn't do it um and you kept like ignoring it that's going to come about so but it's this thing that you need to do yeah, that's how I feel. Um, okay, and the third question is what will be eclipsed? What will be eclipsed over the next four to six months? So what's that energy that's just going to be eclipsed to get you to the 
solar eclipse, right? To get you to the new energy. So what's going to be eclipsed? I, you have the Ace of Wands. So I feel like finally, when you get this done, you are going to have to push. I mean, like that's kind of what you're doing now. And then the thing's going to open up and then you're going to like do it. And then you're going to have this guilt about not doing it sooner. And then I feel like the eclipse is like all of a sudden things start moving. Things start moving fast. You get starts. You get things that you want. You get the things that you enjoy. You get to feel better. You get to feel lighter. It's not like this, oh my God, I got to think about 10 other people before I make this move kind of thing. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like you'll feel lighter. You'll feel better. You have more starts coming, but you have to get through this part and don't get and i feel like usually you'll feel really guilty about not doing it the right way or about not doing somebody like if you feel like you could have helped more or if you feel like you could have done more you'll feel guilty about it but you have this understanding of self-preservation and that's kind of what's making you move and i feel like once you do this You'll feel back to yourself and things will start again and you'll feel like you're in a better energy. Just don't get stuck in the guilt of it. Okay. So that's what's going to be eclipsed. That that energy of like everything going so slow. Oh my God. It's like molasses to be able to like make a choice. That's going to be eclipsed. I feel like this is faster energy. Um, more starts. Okay. Things happening and going your way. All right, and then four is what growth and or opportunities are going to happen in this lunar eclipse or because of this lunar eclipse. Because we're letting go, because we're understanding, because we're keeping our boundaries, because we have self-preservation, and because we're doing what we need to do, Taurus, what are, what is the growth and or opportunities coming over the next four to six months? You have the death card so i feel like your your opportunities are happening as you do this that's the transformation card I, I again i feel like you feel better see that was you down on the floor but then that's you up in the up on the um horse it's like this is you too like you're waiting for the arrival of things um and i feel like as you do this you get opportunity Things go your way. I kind of already feel it with the Ace of Wands. This is kind of just confirmation to me that this is going. This is where you actually have transformation. It's not like oh, I do this, but then I go back to what I'm used to doing. This is actual transformation. This is actual change in residency, change in position, change in job, change in location, change in um, who you have friends around with or who you have around as your friends like this is actual change you actually have the transformation and you will see that over the next four to six months that will all start coming to uh, be, begin to unfold okay some of you again eight months it's going to take eight months 